In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a low polygon count model of a boot. In subsequent tutorials, I'll show you how to join the boot to the lower body of a character and eventually how to join all the parts of a character together. I'm going to trace the boot from a background image, so I'm going to click the plus to open up the property side panel. I'm going to click the black triangle next to background images, tick background images, click add image, click open, go to the folder where your image is, select the image and open image. Now the image will only be displayed in one of the standard orthogonal views, so I'm going to go to front and change perspective to orthogonal. There's our background image. Scrolling in with the mouse wheel, uh, the background image is very large, so I'm going to go to size, I'm going to drag on size to make that smaller, and then I'll click on the side to make it smaller again on the arrow there. I'm going to go into edit mode, I'm going to press delete on the keyboard and delete all the vertices. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel. Now at the moment we've got an object called cube that's had all its vertices deleted. To add vertices I'm going to hold down the control key and left click with the mouse button. Now if you changed your selection to left clicking It'll, you'll have to hold down control and click with the right mouse button. Now I'm not going to make a model of a ski boot. I'm just using its shape roughly. So I'm using a bit of artistic license. to about there. Untick background images. Hold down shift and select the first vertex. Press F to make edge. I want to simplify the outline by removing this vertex. Hold down shift and select an adjacent vertex. Alt and M will merge vertices and merge at last. I want to fill the outline with quad faces, four-sided faces that subdivide nicely. To add edges, select, shift select, press F, select, shift select, press F, select, shift select, press F. I'm going to add all the straightforward edges and deal with problem areas afterwards. We still have faces with more than four sides. I'm going to use the knife tool to cut up those faces. First of all, we actually have to make the faces, so I'm going to press A to select all and F to make face. If I go into face select mode, this face and this face have more than four sides. Going back into vertex select mode, I'm going to select the knife tool. The instructions for the knife tool are on the toolbar. Use left mouse button to define cut lines. Use return or the spacebar to confirm. I'm going to hover over the vertex where I want my cut to start and left mouse click. I'm going to hover over the vertex where I want my cut to end and left mouse click. Press the spacebar to confirm. Click the knife tool, hover over first vertex, left mouse click. Hover over end vertex, left mouse click, spacebar to confirm. Now that I have all quad faces, I'm going to fine tune the position of some of the vertices. I'm selecting the vertices and pressing G to grab. Select, G to grab and move. I'm pressing A twice to select all and R to rotate to level the boot. To make the top of the boot more level, I'm going to enable proportional editing. Click the corner vertex, press G to grab and use the mouse wheel to adjust the area of proportional editing and move the vertex up a bit. Select the other corner vertex, press G to grab, use the mouse wheel to adjust the area of proportional editing and move that down a bit. Drag to close the properties panel. 
drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and drag to close the tool shelf. In the view menu change the view to the right view and press A to select all, E to extrude and I'm going to enter a value of 0.6 and enter. Click A on the keyboard to deselect, click the modifiers button, click add modifier subdivision surface and change the level of subdivision to 2. To shape the toe of the boot I'm going to go into edge select mode and select a front edge. I'm going to drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view so we look down on the toe. I'm going to press S to scale and shrink down the edge and then use the mouse wheel to adjust the area of proportional editing. To level the top of the boot I'm going to do a loop cut and slide. Click the button, come in from the side, when you get the purple line click and slide it up. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the 2D outline and the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.